As you can see, this eye is half done. So I'm gonna show you how I created this look on this eye. I'll be using the Must Masquerade by Juvia's. The colors are quite potent, but as you can see, my favorite color is the brown one, which I love. So I usually just do this as a base for my eyes. So then it's just easier to blend all the colors. And you wanna make sure you blend. That's one thing I've learned being in the house. Blend. Then I go in with my Pure Beauty Diary Soiree palette. And then I use the color Epic. This is more of a bit of a darker brown. There we go. And this is just to build up and to make this pink pop. Oh, it's kind of looking like purple now, but girls got to do. And you can see I'm just doing a light line just above my eyeball and I'm just blending it in and out. And then as I'm blend blending in and out, I go up. So I blend it up. Back to the Masquerade palette, I go in with this color. What's the number? Zobo, Zobo, that's the color, Zobo. You can see I always start in the outer corner of my eye and then I build it up. Kind of liking how this is turning out. So you can see purple, purple, still very potent, but not too much in your eye. And I blend it all the way up to my brow bone. My eyebrows now so I just brush them upwards with a little brush and I take a little eyebrow pencil in brown just a few little strokes just to make the eyebrows look a little bit thicker and go a little bit down the edge just to make them look a little bit longer and again I brush them upwards So step one when it comes to lipsticado. Take out your lip liner, make sure she's sharp and thank goodness I wasn't embarrassed in this moment because she was. So line your lips just inside. Hey Mark, how are you doing? These are my lips for the night. No, they are not, okay? So stop with the judgment. So the lipstick that I'm going to be using tonight is Ruby Woo's Retro Matte from MAC. Come forth and line your lips with the lipstick. Thank goodness God gave me fingers because I'm gonna blend with my finger. Mm -hmm. Now we check the edges, you see that little mistake there? Maybe we don't do mistakes. No, we make sure we correct the errors so Mark doesn't think we are Popeye, he doesn't know how to put on lipstick. Okay, so I always use my sponges to help me correct and then afterwards I use a baby wipe to clean them so that next time I'm correcting a purple lipstick, I don't put red by accident. Okay, so you're gonna come forth in the middle of your lip with your brown and press them. Press them again and blend. And yet again, your lips look fuller, your lipstick is applied natural, and you are ready to not steal my man's, to find your own man's to impress with this lipstick. Thank you very much. Keep in touch.